welcome to my makeup collection. This is where I store all of my makeup and my hair stuff because this is where I get ready in the mornings. So this desk thing is actually from Ikea. It's the Alex Lindman set. Um, I have these drawers pulled in a little bit because if I'm sitting here, I can't reach both of the drawers from where I'm sitting. So that's why I have them kind of squished in like that, but it works for me. Um, this mirror right here is from HomeSense. I'll zoom in on it for you. But yeah, this is the overview of where I sit and get ready. This chair is from Superstore too. So coming a little bit closer, right here I store all of my nail polishes. That's where I store my nail polishes. And then on top I just have all the stuff that I need on pretty much a daily basis or that I like to see. So over here I have my mirror. I got that from Winners actually. And one side of it's broken, like the more magnified side is broken. So I usually just use the real life kind of side there. I have a candle burning right there. I just like smelling a nice candle. And then I have my brush holder. So this is where I store pretty much all my makeup brushes. I got this thing from Winners. It's supposed to be for office supplies, but it's just the easiest way I found to store all my makeup brushes. I used to have them in separate little jars, but this is just so wonderful. And so it's safe space to have them like this. It's super easy. So that is where I still store all my makeup brushes. And then in here is where I keep my makeup brushes that I need to clean. So these are all ones that are dirty, so I just keep that separate. I have this thing on my desk because I don't want to ruin the top of my desk, so I just laid this kind of uh, plasticky fabric down. Um, just in case like some of my dirty brushes go on here, it'll be safe. So I keep that on there. And then these two powders I keep here because they don't fit inside the drawers how I have my drawers set up. So I just keep those there. And then I have a hand cream right here. Beside it, I store most of my lipsticks there. I have all my MAC ones, OCC, uh, CoverGirl, Revlon, Brimmel, Clinique, L'Oreal, Makeup Forever, Chanel, everything. I just keep in these little containers here. Um, it, they Each one holds 24, as you can see here. And I just bought these off of eBay. They were, I think, $5, so I got those off of eBay. Around to the other side, I just keep two old candle jars from Bath & Body Works. I use one for Q-tips and one for cotton rounds. And then I just have my makeup wipes here, nice and handy. And then I also have this other lamp right here. Matches one in my living room, and I got that from Ikea. The mirror I also got at Home Sense. It has sort of a rectangular detail around the edges, and that is all that I keep on the top of my makeup. So I'll start with the right side of my desk first. Um, this is where I just keep all my face products for the most part. I like keeping it on the right side because that's what I grab for in the morning on my right side first. So in this top drawer, I keep my primers, concealers, and foundations. In here, I keep my primers. And what I have stored all my makeup in in these things are these little acrylic containers from the dollar store, from Dollarama. And they don't sit in the drawer completely. As you can see, they don't fit. They're like... I don't know, like a centimeter too big, but they have these little ridges on them and the drawers, like the sides of the drawers here, the ridges sit on there. So they actually fit in here quite nicely. They just sit in there. So in here I have my primers. I have like pretty much anything like MAC, Benefit, Illa Masca. I have a whole bunch of samples of primers here. If we're Makeup Forever, Benefit, um, I also keep this MAC Fast Response Eye Cream in here. Hourglass, everything. I also keep a little bottle of my argan oil in here because this is what I use as my moisturizer because I have really dry skin. So I just keep that in here so I remember to put that on. In here is my concealers, literally everything. Maybelline, L'Oreal, um, Revlon, Smashbox, MAC, more L'Oreal, more Revlon, um, the balm. I have a backup of my favorite right here, which is the Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer. So that is all I keep in there. And then these last three things right here are my foundation. So I have NARS, Revlon. I love the um, CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1. So I have two of those in here. I'm a little pale for it right now, so I can't quite wear it, but I keep two in there. I have my Kat Von D. I have two of the Maybelline Fit Me Stick foundations because I really, really love that. Um, then this CoverGirl whatever. And then back here I keep two of these Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush because I used to love, love, love this foundation. So I have two of them back here. And then I just have a MAC um, Moisture Tint and a Leo Welly BB Cream. I'm too pale for these right now, but I'm keeping them for a rainy day if I ever decide to tan again. And then I just keep this 
whatever this is, and then a sheer cover foundation back there. The second drawer here is mostly blushes and powders, anything for the face. So over here, I keep most of my MAC ones. Blazing Oat, um, Spring Sheen, I know I have um, Pink Swoon, I have this Duo thing. What is this one? A Dolly Mix. I have a whole bunch of MAC ones here. I have a NYX Mosaic Powder, um, a Smashbox thing. I really like the orange in this, that's why I got it. I have two NYX blushes here, a little mini Tarte one on this Maybelline Dream Bouncy, whatever. And then I have Fox in a Box over here. So that's where I keep all of those blushes. The MAC blushes really fit nice in here, that's why I mostly keep them here. Um, over here, I keep two Illamasqua blushes. These are my favorite blushes of all time, probably. So I keep two here. They don't fit like this um, or like this, so I kind of have to put them on their side. I have two NARS blushes. I have Orgasm and Ola. And then I just have Balm Frat Boy and my Plum by Lancome, which I love that blush. In this next one, I keep bronzers and highlighters. I don't really have many just because I have my favorites and those are the ones I use. So I have a MAC bronzing powder, my Mary Luminizer, my Bahama Mama, both by the bomb. And then I just have some little samples from Benefit, um, Sunbeam, What's Up. Then I have my Smashbox, what is this even called? Artificial Light Luminizing Powder. I really love this highlighter, except I hate the sound that it makes. And then back here, I have setting powders. I have two of the Revlon Photo Ready ones right there. I have a MAC blotting powder. I have a Rimmel Stay Matte, Cover Girl powder, and a Dream Matte powder by Maybelline. And then back here, I just have some samples of some powders. Just little deluxe samples. Makeup Forever, a Tarte one, and Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. And like I said before, I keep these two powders on the top of my table, the Ben Nye Luxury Powder and Cameo. I use this every day, so I just keep it up there to stay handy. And then this MAC powder, because it doesn't fit in here. I can't close the drawer if I put it in there. So that is what I keep in there. The next drawer I keep lip products in. So here I keep my lip glosses in. Um, I never really thought I liked lip glosses, but then I realized how many I had, and I guess I do like lip glosses. So lip glosses stay here. I have Buxom, MAC, um, Stila, anything, a um, whole bunch of stuff. In here I keep mostly jumbo pencils and lip stains. So I have a whole bunch of the Revlon Just Fit and Kiss with Balm stains. I have this Pop one, more Revlon, CoverGirl, um, a Maybelline, yeah. Lip stains go in there. Then in here I have lip plumpers and lip chaps and stuff like that. So my um, Principessa one, I have a L'Oreal lip plumper. I have two baby lips over here. And then back here, I'll take this out so you can see, um, I just keep some lip liners. I'm not a huge fan of lip, not that I'm a huge fan, but I, sometimes I don't use lip liner. So I have like the basics. I have like a nude, a red, a pink, a coral, and that's pretty much all that I have. And then I just have a couple lipsticks, like baby ones, and then, um, number seven lipstick over here and then in the bottom of here I just have hand cream um, a sample of Lancome lip gloss um, some nail polish remover makeup wipes that's what I just keep in the bottom there because in these drawers there's a lot of space underneath these things because they sit on the ridge so as you can see like there's a lot of space down there then in these last two drawers I mostly keep hair stuff so in this drawer I keep hair products and hair tools so or not hair tools but hair like brushes and stuff so I have mostly products here, um, this giant can of hairspray. Um, I keep elastics and bobby pins here. They shouldn't be in here. Um, clips, and then my brushes and combs back here. And then back there, I keep some of my headbands that I reach for more than I keep in my bedroom. And then in this far bottom drawer, I keep my tools. So I have my curling iron, straightener, blow dryer, and crimper. And then back there in that, whoop, back. This is hard. Back there in that bag, I keep a whole bunch of latex gloves. So in this top drawer, I keep stuff like tools and whatnot that I use on the regular that I need to grab for and I don't want to rummage through different drawers to look for. So I have beauty blenders here, um, two and then one, I, one sponge I got from Winners. I have a couple of those, um, what are these even called? I don't even know what these are called. Like velcro things to pin your hair back. Then in here I have tools, um, like nail clippers, nail file, uh, tweezers, eyelash curlers, some extra spoolies, a sharpener, that kind of stuff I keep in here. In here I have some eyelashes, um, Makeup Forever, Sephora, Sephora, Essence, um, then I have these lash cards in here. 
I don't really have many lashes right now just because I've used all mine. I have a pack of the lashes that I get off of eBay back here. I just have them all kind of thrown into this one pack. So this is what I'm using up before I buy any more. Um, then over here, these drawers don't fit in here properly because these ones don't, but um, I have a little makeup remover right here so I can use my cotton pads with that if I need to. And then I have my two setting sprays right here just because they fit nicely right here. Then I have my lash glues over here. This should be over here. Um, and then I have some um, bobby pins and an elastic here just because it's easier to grab in here than the other drawer like going down and blah, blah, blah. So I just have that little thing here. And then in here is more um, random stuff like tape, um, rapid clear, some um, hand sanitizer, a mirror, a little thing of lip scrub that I put in here, um, a lighter, just random stuff that I do use on a daily basis. This next drawer is mostly eyeliners and mascaras. Well, actually it is eyeliners and mascaras. So here I keep black eyeliners, liquid pencil, whatever. This is where I keep it. Um, I have the Balm, Urban Decay, Annabelle, um, more Urban Decay, Revlon, um, Maybelline, Star Looks, uh, Urban Decay, what is this, Annabelle, Kat Von D, um, Mac, Mac, uh, yeah, anything, everything and everything I keep in here. In here I keep my gel eyeliner, so I have Revlon, this Kaylin one, Bobbi Brown, Maybelline, um, Micah Beauty, and then I have three Smashbox ones over here. Next one holds my like jumbo pencils. I have some depotted in here and then I have a glitter and these are mostly just jumbo pencils from NYX. Here is where I keep my two things of mascaras. These are the mascaras that I have opened and I'm using right now. So I have Maybelline, um, Dior, Urban Decay, Lancome, Revlon. And then back here, I'll take this out so you can see, is more mascara that I haven't opened yet. So I have a ton, a ton of samples. So like a benefit, I have two benefits, they're real, and then a full size one. I have two Laura Mercier, a Bad Gal Lash, um, it's so big, uh, Dior, <laughs> another Bad Gal Lash, and then I have a full size of the Dior. Brandon got this for me. Thank you, Brandon. This is my favorite mascara, so I'm saving that. And then in this next drawer, I keep eyeshadows and eye primers. So in here, I have my eye primers. Urban Decay, I just have it depotted in this little jar. I have my MAC Paint Pot and Painterly, NYX Eyeshadow Base, um, Tarte Emphasize Waterproof Amazonian Clay Eyeshadow Base. Um, I have some samples. I have a um, Lorac, I have Urban Decay, more Urban Decay, and then this Corez. Um, primer here too. Here I keep all of my single eyeshadows. So I have some Makeup Forever, Sephora, a couple MAC ones here, um, Coppering, and then this Marilyn Monroe one. Um, some Sephora. I have four NYX eyeshadows here. I have a white, a blue, a red, and a yellow. The blue one's still in there. Then I have three of these L'Oreal things, and I never actually use these. I just never got into them, but I have three of them here. And I have three of these things from the body shop, just a pink, blue, and green right there. And then I have, this is like one of my favorite eyeshadows. Then over here I have like little, I don't even know, mostly the stupid crap from Ipsy, but yeah, I don't really use any of that. So that's what I keep in there. And then back here I keep my loose shadows and glitters. So I have some MAC pigments here, a MAC glitter, um, NYX, what are these called? I don't even know what these are called. Ultra Pearl Mania, what are these called? I don't even know, but I keep two of those there. Mica Beauty, and then these are just some glitters and um, eyeshadows that broke, and then a little sample right there. Back here in the drawer, uh, this MAC palette didn't fit anywhere because it doesn't fit here, so I just threw that back there, as well as an Avon quad there. And then I have this magnet here because when I depot, like when I take my MAC shadows and put them in a palette I have to have a magnet so I keep that there and then I just have some um, vampire teeth there. so that is what is in that drawer in this drawer I have more of my eyeshadows I mostly like to use my eyeshadows in palettes just because it's easier so this is where I keep most of my palettes so I have Naked Basics by Urban Decay can never go wrong with that it's a great palette I have the Lorac Pro, even better palette. It's absolutely phenomenal. If you can get your hands on this, it's just, I can't say enough about that. I have the Nude Tude. I use this every single day. This is the color I use for my eyebrows. Um, this is usually my highlight color. I love this palette. 
I have the Naked 2 right here. I can't get into this palette. I don't know if it... I don't know, but I still have it here. I don't know if I'm going to return it. I haven't decided. I have three of uh, the Disney palettes from Sephora. I have the Cinderella, Jasmine, and Ariel palettes. I haven't used them, just mostly... I've collected them. I don't know if I'm ever going to use them, but I have them here. I have my two MAC palettes, so these are more my neutral colors and then my bolder colors. I am going to do a video about my MAC palettes. I've gotten a lot of requests for that, so don't worry. It is going to be coming, but I have just a couple random palettes. I have a concealer palette. This comes in handy. Um, I have a BH 15 color palette. You can go on their website and make your own palette if you want it. And yeah, these are really gorgeous colors. Like they're so pigmented and really beautiful. So if you want some cheap eyeshadows, this is a great palette. Um, I have the contour palette by BH Cosmetics. This I got when I was like 13 or something. It's just a makeup palette and I've just saved it. I don't use it, but I just save it. And I have the Urban Decay Book of Shadows. I think this is number four. So I have this down here. And then down here in this bottom drawer, it's sort of like my catch-all, like Home Depot, like do-it-yourself kind of drawer. Like I have a paintbrush, I have little command things, like I have an extension cord, a stapler, I paint um, my glasses, like anything and everything is in this drawer. It's messy and I don't like to look at it, so that's what's in there. So that concludes my makeup collection video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm not trying to brag whatsoever. Um, I bought all this stuff with my own money and it's all mine and it's my passion and it's what I love to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you later. Bye.